we can tell that a planet has passed in front of it. Okay, so it's a really simple, sort of easy thing to do, to watch stars, watch the light dip, and we say, oh, that means a planet's gone in front. And so by using this method called the transit method, uh, telescopes like NASA's Kepler telescope have discovered that there are thousands of exoplanets confirmed that we know we're out there. And that's just in one little teeny tiny patch of sky. So what this tells us is that planets are everywhere. They're, our Milky Way galaxy is literally teeming with planets. They're all over the place. If you go outside at night and point up at a star, any star, it's almost certain there's a planet around it. Now, when I was a kid, we did not know that. When I was a kid, we only knew about the planets in our solar system. So this is brand new stuff. And it's really exciting. So we found all these planets that we know exist out there that are whipping around their stars. But the thing is, is that we don't know much about them. We know that they're there, but we don't know a lot about them. So next. So what we want to do with Webb is watch for those planets to pass in front of their star. Look at the starlight that filters through those planets' atmospheres and figure out what's in those atmospheres. And so then, what would that tell us? That might tell us if that planet has conditions that could harbor life.